Faint foreshocks foretell California earthquakes. This is on Science Daily by Los Alamos National Laboratory. Minor shocks presaged impending main shocks days to weeks before the big event. Dated July 31st, 2019, today. New research mining data from a catalog of more than 1.8 million Southern California earthquakes found that nearly three-fourths of the time, four shocks signaled a quake's readiness to strike from days to weeks before the main shock hit, a revelation that could advance earthquake forecasting. New research mining data from a catalog of more than 1.8 million Southern California earthquakes. Three-fourths of the time, the four shock signal a quake readiness to strike days to weeks before the main shock. Quote, we are progressing towards statistical forecasts, though not actual yes or no predictions of earthquakes, end quote, said Daniel Trugman, a seismologist at Los Alamos National Laboratory and co-author of a paper out today in the journal Geophysics, Geophysical Research Letters. Quote, it's a little like the history of weather forecasting where it has taken hundreds of years to, of steady progress to get where we are today, end quote. The paper is titled, Pervasive Foreshock Activity Across Southern California, end quote. And notes foreshocks preceded nearly 72% of the main shocks studied, the largest quakes in the particular sequence, a percentage that is significantly higher than was previously understood. Many of these four shocks are so small, with magnitudes less than one, that they are difficult to spot through visual analysis of seismic waveforms. To detect such small events requires advanced signal processing techniques and is a huge data-intensive problem. Significant, significant computing capabilities were key to extracting these new insights from the Southern California Quake Template Matching Catalog recently produced by Trugman and co-author Zachary Ross, an assistant professor in seismology at Caltech. The template match took approximately 300,000 GPU hours on an array of 200 NVIDIA P100 GPUs, involving three to four weeks of computing time for the final run. GPUs are special types of computers optimal for massively parallel problems. As such, GPU has thousands of cores, and each core is capable of handling its own computational thread. For example, a strange laptop has either two to four cores. The earthquake catalog is archived by the Southern California Earthquake Data Center. The small foreshocks may be too difficult to discern in real time to be of use in earthquake forecasting. Another important issue to that is that quakes run in packs. They cluster in both space and time. So sorting the foreshocks of a particular quake out from the family of preliminary main and aftershock rumbles of its fellow Earth adjustments is no simple task. An earthquake prediction tool is still far off, Trugman explains, and for humans who like a yes or no answer, a statistical analysis that suggests a quake's probability is frustrating, but the potential insights and early warnings are improving quake by quake. This is on Science Daily, and it was by Los Alamos National Laboratory. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.